Hi, I'm Helen Gottlieb and I'm a uh, printmaking artist based in Dexter, Michigan and this is my studio. So I share the studio with my um, partner Dylan Straczynski, he's also an artist and I do printmaking, he does painting, so there's a lot of both of our work everywhere. Uh, this is my drying rack area, my um, etching press where I print all my uh, intaglio and dry point pieces. This is one of my larger new uh, new pieces, August Sun. It's uh, a four by six uh, foot piece that's actually made of, of four different uh, prints that I pasted together on a wood panel. And then um, after it was pasted down and varnished, I actually added uh, palladium and gold leaf gilding into some of the petals and the flowers. And then uh, this is another uh, new, a different series of work uh, that I've been making based on uh, the connection between wood, uh, wood grain and water. And uh, this one's called Sine Wave. And so what I did was actually uh, hand dyed uh, this paper with the acrylic paint and then um, waited for that to dry and then printed these large tree cookies uh, to symbolize the water and then did um, painted individually the goldfish on top of that. Here is one of my pieces um, that's a sand dune piece inspired by um, the Pacific Northwest and Lake Michigan a little bit. Sometimes it's not just one place that sticks with me, but several different places. But you can see how I'm really interested in, in uh, incorporating wood grain that represents something like the wood grain represents the water in the, uh, in the sky. And then also the grass. Sections. Actually, this is what it looks like before I print, uh, before I paste down the individual pieces. For example, the sunflower piece, that's one of the sections without gilding on it. Over summertime, I've just had a lot more time to uh, go hiking and kind of explore different areas. There's a spot called West Lake Preserve. It's about uh, 10 minutes from my house, and I did a lot of hiking there um, with friends and with Dylan. Almost like you just pull in at the parking lot and you look down, it's just this huge open field with this tiny pond in the middle, and there's just all these wildflowers everywhere. Um, Queen Anne's Lace and Goldenrod and all these other just beautiful little Michigan wildflowers. And I was like, I don't know, I need to make artwork about this spot. It's just so magical and had such a relaxing feeling to it. And there's just nobody else there. Like almost every time we went there, it was like parking lots empty. I just felt really uh, taken with it and, and wanted to try and make it into a piece of artwork. Okay, so when I started this process, what I did was I took a bunch of plywood pieces, cut them into um, about two by three foot uh, sections, and then covered them with vinyl spackle. And the key to like a lot of this process is uh, much of the image was made in the vinyl spackle before I even dried. So what I did was I actually used some of these tools for that which are very high-tech tools, um, an unwound piece of wire, thick gauge, a thinner unwound piece of wire, skinny gauge, and just took it and just scraped in the gestural image, you know, lines of this whole landscape. Once it dried, I used a mixture of watercolor and liquid acrylic paint to paint all over the, the piece, the spackle, to make it pink. And, and honestly, I've used like every color for that before. But basically, it's just so I can see contrast when I'm carving in my other lines. And then once it dries, I sand it so it's very flat, so it's easy to go through the press. Have that color on there, and then start going in with other tools. Uh, let's see. Needle point punch tool. It was actually a sign maker's tool, I guess. I don't know. Dylan had it around the studio. Um, you know, when you want to get really crazy, bust this thing out. I don't really know what this
this is for, but it works great for making a lot of lines all at once. Um, anyway, so I went all in with that, and then I realized that my hand was going to fall off if I didn't start using some power tools on it. So then I bust out the Dremel and started Dremeling all over the spackle to get some of the more gestural lines in the um, goldenrod and the uh, just kind of like grassy textures at the bottom of the piece. Um, and then after that, I thought, okay, uh, some of these lines are really wide and I'm probably just going to wipe all the ink out of them, so I need to have some kind of texture in there. That's when I decided to use carborundum, which is this dust. It's almost like gluing down sand into uh, into the plate. And I have some of that right here. Uh, you can kind of see these black areas or dark gray areas is where I pasted down the carborundum. And you can see all the like texture there that will print really dark uh, just inside the flowers and the tree line up here. Then I uh, use a coat of polyurethane and water to seal the piece. I do a couple coats of that just to make sure all the lines are really protected once I start inking it. Let that dry for a day. When I go to print it, I uh, take a little ceramic squeegee, I guess, and put the ink across the whole thing and use a tarlatan um, to rub it into all the lines and, and uh, get the excess ink off of the top so I have the nice highlighted areas. Sometimes I use a Q-tip um, to get the really bright areas, like in the pond in the middle of the piece. I have my paper soaking. I take the paper out, uh, put that on top of the piece, and then roll it through the etching press to get the impression. So I did that eight different times uh, for eight different pieces. So far, I've printed three of each of them. But I'm really pleased with how it came out, and uh, I think there's no proofing going on here. I just know now, after it dries, I want to do some gilding with gold and palladium leaf on some of the flowers, and I might carve the sky out and maybe part of the water once it's pasted down um, onto wood panel. One other thing that I've really noticed about this summer is that as much as there's been a lot of crazy stuff going on, it's like nature just keeps going. Nature just keeps doing its thing. It's not affected by all the stuff we get wrapped up in and I think that that is what I try to focus on the most. As much as I was feeling like, oh, maybe I'm not getting enough work done, I was gathering so much inspiration from taking these hikes and visiting gardens and you know just being outside constantly. Now it's all starting to come out in my new ideas and the new imagery I'm working on right now.